Hey guys, welcome back. Lord have mercy, let me get a drink before we even get started. <laughs> it's just water. I promise it's just water. Okay, today's video is going to be my spring favorites. You guys know, I got a box, I got a, a basket for you. <clears throat> I got like a tickle in my throat. <coughs> I no longer do monthly favorites. Um, it just kind of got redundant for me. So I do like seasonal favorites, what I've been using during the spring, what I really enjoyed, what sometimes I throw in things I didn't enjoy. I don't have any of that this, this time to go around. I have a lot of things I did enjoy. So let's get into those. First, I'm going to start off with, of course, my favorite coffee and tea that I've been drinking right now. <clears throat> I might need to go make me some. Lord have mercy. The tea I have been drinking, I think I've showed you guys the same tea, but a long time ago, it is the English Tea Shop Ginger Peach in the summer and in the spring. I like a, more of a fruity tea, and then, of course, in the cooler months, I like a more spicy tea. So this is Ginger Peach, the English Tea Shop. These run around $4 at TJ Maxx, and you get 60 tea bags. <clears throat> and if I can get the lid off, there we go. They come... 30 to a vacuum sealed pack so you can open one and that way you know this is still staying fresh so i like that and i like this hot and i like it cold i'll drink it either way <clears throat> the other thing is my coffee i've been drinking oh my gosh that just smells so good this is javalia and i've i've talked about this before javalia this is the house blend. I've used house blend and I've used breakfast blend, but I prefer the house blend. It is Swedish. It, this is a medium roast. It smells almost like it has a chocolate note to it, but I don't think you would taste any chocolate notes, but it smells almost like a mocha. There's something in there that, oh my gosh, it just, I love it. Okay, so there is my coffee. Let's get into what I've been using in the bath and on my face. I've got it sitting up here because the basket was kind of full. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This came in one of our boxes, probably BoxyCharm. And I have been using this and I think it's about down to, about down to here, somewhere in here. So I've used a lot of it. I really like it. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't burn. It does tingle a little bit when you first put it on and you're washing with it. But I guess maybe that's why they call it fresh. Um, but I have not found it to be irritating, drying, anything. I use it with my Clarisonic. I use it every time I take a shower. Um, also in the shower, I have Philosophy. And I just pulled this one out. This is the Fresh Cream. Um, normally in the shower, you'll find Philosophy. I have two in there. The Fresh Cream is one. The other one is Sparkling Peach something, and it's a holiday from last year, but it was a bigger bottle, the bigger bottle than this. <clears throat> so good. And you can use these as shampoo, shower gel, and um, bubble bath. So yeah, you can use this however you want to, but I just use it for shower gel. Next thing, shampoo. Guys, you know I was using the purple shampoo. And it was the Walmart Equate brand to clear all shimmering lights or something like that. Something was breaking me out like big time. And it was like all down my shoulders, my back. And it was little bumps and like big blotchy like hives looking. It was so bad. It was so bad. And I'd started using a laundry detergent at the same time. So I stopped using that laundry detergent and I stopped using that shampoo and all that has cleared up. I knew it was one of the two, but I didn't know which. So I'm going to go back to using the purple shampoo once a week. But what I've been using is this. And I went into Sally's for nail files and I just thought, well, let me look at the shampoo. And this is Volume Solutions by Ion. And it looks like that. It is 10.5 fluid ounces. It's 100% vegan, paraben free. Um, big volume, gentle cleansing, color safe, which, you know, my hair is not colored, but it has a nice light, fresh scent and it's more of like a gel consistency. You know how shampoos will be more like this, like this kind of consistency. This is more like a gel almost when it comes out. It's clear and 
it doesn't foam up like a normal shampoo it doesn't have that heavy thick foam um, sudsing I do like this <clears throat> this is second day hair I don't wash my hair every day and I do put hair oil in my hair but mainly down here toward the ends um, just to keep the ends nice and hydrated and healthy this is second day hair no problem I'm really enjoying that shampoo what else is in the shower let me look <clears throat> I think that's it for the shower we'll get into like fragrances skincare fragrances I have pulled out three now I've got two I got a whole collection back here that I go back and forth and there's even more in the closet but there's two I'm working on for my project pan and I'll leave that linked up below if you want to see what those are. They're very summer, spring fragrances. These are, this is the um, Endless endless Euphoria. This was gifted to me by Miss Ellie. <clears throat> it's very floral, very light, very spring. I do like wearing this one. I'm not a big floral person, but this one is light enough and not like floral overkill that I can handle it. So I have been wearing this one. See if I can find places to sit this stuff. And this is one of my absolute favorites. And I wear this one all year because it's more foodie. It's kind of foodie. It's Clinique My Happy Cocoa and Cashmere. This is just inviting. It is just soothing, comforting, musking. It's got like a musk and a vanilla. And like a foodie scent to oh my gosh I just I love it I love it that's one of my absolute favorites I'm glad I found that I was walking through Belks and I just happened to sniff it one day I was like oh I need that <clears throat> the other one is a cult classic I will grab for this one when I can't decide what I want to wear and it is a Bath and Body Works warm vanilla sugar I can spray this it doesn't matter any day just just spray it and I don't know what I want to wear <clears throat> And it's good. I have it in the lotion. I have it in the body butter. I have it in the hand sanitizer. I have it in everything. What else? <clears throat> Let me grab another sip of water. This is new, but I have fallen in love with it in like the last week because I've only had it like a week. <clears throat> and I had to put it in here. This is the Spun Gel Hand Cream Coconut Verbena. This is like a cruise in a tube. It's just a little bit. This smells and feels so good. That just that just smells fantastic. I'm not even playing and it feels really good on the hands. It's not oily. It is not like for your hands are greasy. It just feels really good. It absorbs in. And just leaves your skin looking hydrated and dewy, but not greasy. <clears throat> really nice. I think the only other, yeah, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. These little hand sanitizers. Peach Bellini is what I have right here. I keep these everywhere. I have them stashed throughout the house, in my purse. Um, I did have them in my car, but I took them out. Guys, if you have hand sanitizers in your cars, and you're in a hot weather area take them out of your cars these can catch fire so just there's your public service service announcement if you have a hand sanitizer in your car because i was keeping one in my car because when i would get in and out of my car i would hand sanitize <clears throat> but now that the temps are getting up 80 something degrees in the car and they're going to only go up higher don't leave these in your car they can catch fire but yes the little hand sanitizers bath and body works loving um my cbd hemp oils this one is the mint extra strength hemp extract by redeem i think i don't want to knock my bucket over about not my um i'm almost done with this one it's about to here and all you do is you take it you shake it up this one has a spray and you spray it a couple times under your tongue but you're supposed to wait 30 seconds before you swallow it um I love these. I do them several times a day and I do it before I go to bed. Now, when I go to bed, I'll do a couple extra pumps because I want to sleep. I want to be able to sleep. Um, I'm not taking medication 
for my sciatica and my herniated disc in a while other than like Tylenol. I just haven't. I just quit. I just quit taking the medication because it was just not what my body really needed. It was, it was not the, you know, the medications was just not what I needed. And I really like these CBD oils. I don't feel any different than I feel any other time. It's not like you're getting high. It's not like you're getting messed up. Um, I can't even tell like hardly any difference except when I'm asleep. And that's how I know it's working because I can sleep better. I can. I can really tell that I sleep better by doing my CBD oil before I go to bed. And even if I get to do it, forget to do it during the day, I will do it before I go to bed. And I can really tell it helps me sleep. I'm not tossing and turning. I'm not rubbing my legs in the bed like a cricket like I usually am. Um, usually like used to. If I'm in the bed by myself, I would have the covers completely tore off, tore all over. You know, Ronnie's covers side would be over on my side. Now I wake up and the only part of the bed that's messed up is like my side. I can tell I'm not tossing and turning at night like I used to from being in pain. And I really think the CBD oil helps. So there's that. I think everything else is more skincare and a little bit of makeup. So let me grab skincare-ish items kind of first here. Oh, speaking of CBD, here is the Hemp Crate. These are the lip balms. And when I was getting a Hemp Crate, each month had a lip balm. This is the Blueberry Muffin. If I didn't have lipstick on, I would go ahead and put some on. These are the best lip balms, guys. I'm not even playing. These, I'm glad I got three. Because I've got one over here at my bedside. I have one in my purse. And I have an extra. And um, I love, I love these hemp lip balms. Love them. Love them. That's how much. I'm, I mean, seriously, I love them. <laughs> um, acne treatments, which my skin has been doing really, 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 really good. But I have been keeping up with my skincare. And I have not been wearing hardly any makeup. I mean, seriously, guys, we've been in quarantine. And now... North Carolina is required to wear face masks, so I've not been wearing makeup because I have on, I'm wearing a face mask at work. But when I do get a small pimple or something, Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment, this is what I've been using. And usually I will coat the area really good, go to bed. When I get up the next day, it's practically gone if it's a small spot. If it's one of those deep embedded hormonal breakouts, it takes it a couple days to get rid of it, but it will get rid of it. Just don't pick it. Um, this stuff works really good. And my Elf Hydrating Water Essence. This is like the third bottle I've had of this, I think. Third or fourth bottle. Um, again, love it. Love it. Um, it has a very nice fragrance. It's not overpowering. Very spa-like. I love this one. I'm working on that rose water, my cellar water though. So I've kind of put this one to the side. This one's thick. See how it bubbles? Like it'll hold the bubbles. It's thick. So it's more like a serum-ish. And I really like that. That it just kind of clings to the skin. Absorbs in. And it feels like it's actually hydrating. Not just wiping off the top layer. You know what I'm saying? It's... it's Feels like it's got something to it. It's got it's got something to it. Um, the other things, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mask. I've been using this every night. It doesn't look like there's much gone out of it, but it doesn't take but like one little drop, and then I put on each cheek, and I take another teeny tiny drop, put it on the forehead, and I rub it in. And it smells so good. Oh, yes. It smells so good. Um, but, yes. Been using that every night. Uh, also been using these, which is the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. Now, I've been using this in the mornings um, with my other skincare. And it is just a little pump that we got. I don't know how much I got left of that. But once I run out of this, I do want another retinoid serum because I like this one. But I know Sunday Riley is like super pricey. So 
I oh, will just have to see what else I can find. Maybe on the ordinary. Um, they might have something. I'll have to look. Juice Beauty Stem, Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. You guys heard me talk about getting the eye bags. Um, they don't look that bad today. I have been using that eye balm treatment that we got in... Um, is it Boxy Lux? We just got it in Boxy Lux, the Tula. I've been using that for a couple days, and it's cooling, and they don't look as bad. I mean, seriously, I'm looking at them right now. I mean, you can still see a little right there, but they don't look as bad. Uh, but I've also been using this in the mornings uh, before I was using that, because I've had this one for a while, and this is what I was using, the Juice Beauty, 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 Beauty. Beauty. Juice Beauty. Yep. Like this one. Really like this one. I'll be sad when I run out of this one. I don't remember what it retails for, but it's just a clear, yeah, it, just, it just goes on so smooth. I like that one. I do like that one. So that's what I've been using on my eyes, but now I've added in the Tula Eye Balm. So I've been Kind of switching back and forth between those. So I've been using the eye balm for the last couple days since I got it. I really like that one. Since it's brand new, I didn't want to put it in here. Um, the last skin thing is another Sunday Riley. Guys, it just worked out that way. I've been trying to use up some of the sample stuff I have. You guys know I'm not a big sample user. These are deluxe size samples. So I have been trying to. And I've put a little ding in that one. I've been using this one. And again, it doesn't take much. This is the vitamin C. Oh, it's, again, it just, it smells like citrus. But it goes on really nice. It's thick, but not too thick and heavy. This is supposed to help with age spots, correct? So I do need to put them on my hands. <laughs> Those are 48-year-old hands, guys. I mean, there, there's some spots. And I'm really spotty, like, up on my arms. But my hands look good for my age, don't you think? And I'll tell you a secret. When I do my skincare or I do a face mask, whatever's left on my fingers, I rub it on my hands. And those are 48-year-old hands. That's, that's a hint. Whatever I have left on my fingers, I rub it on the backs of my hands. So, yeah, that is the CEO... Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream by Sunday Riley. This was a deluxe sample. I like this one. I really do. Again, it's pricey. I'll be sad to run out of that one. <laughs> the rest of what I have is makeup. And it's just a couple things. And we'll be done, guys. I promise. Um, going back to an old favorite, my e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. It's that time of year where I don't want to wear a heavy foundation. The Tinted Moisturizers is how I go. So this one is about half full. I've used most of it up. It's about half full, I think. And I really like the Pure Lease that we just got. That's what I have on today. So once I'm out of this one, I'm going to use the Pure Lease. But yeah, been going back to an old favorite. My Elf Tinted Moisturizer. It's $3. And it works perfect. Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer love this stuff guys it is pretty much a good um uh the milani would be a good dupe for it if you don't want to pay the pretty vulgar price it works great i'm using it today i've used it in almost every video you guys have seen me do since i got this i've been using it so the pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer three thumbs up and for powder i've been using the juvia's place this really surprised me. I'm really happy. I think this was $16. It is so finely milled and soft. It just feels so good when you rub it on your skin. I mean, it's like, it's like cashmere. It's so soft and it's not that expensive. I mean, well, for the size you're getting, it is kind of expensive. This is Mm, 13 grams, not quite half an ounce, and it's $16, um, but it's it's a really good powder. So, yeah, I've been using that, and my eyeshadow palettes, 
have gone back to old favorites. These are my Tarte palettes, the Tartlet in Bloom. I'm trying to pan. Actually, I'm trying to hit pan on both of these, and I'm getting there. I'm putting some dents in. I've used this. We just got this in Boxy Luxe, so I'm giving one away. Stay tuned for that. Um, this top row is my favorite, just because I'm a neutral. I'm a neutral bitch, and you know me. But I use all these colors. Um, I have a video where I use this and a lot of the things we just got in Boxy Looks. I will leave it linked up below. The Tartlet in Bloom, again, neutralized bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like my neutrals. There's days I like my neutrals. I got out of my comfort zone today and went very bold. So I'm just going to put that back over where I can grab it easily. I'm going to start putting some of this stuff back down in the basket now. So I can take it back to its homes. The last things in the basket are blushes. And again, going back to all favorites, using what I have, my Laura Geller blushes. This is the pink grapefruit. If I can get it open. Absolutely love her blushes. Those are stunning. I mean, they're just stunning. So this one is pink grapefruit. I'm gonna tuck it up here in the basket. This one is Tropic Hues, and we got this one in a boxy charm, I think, last year, but I already had this one, so I gave mine away. Absolutely beautiful. I love her blushes. Love them. I have four of them. I need more. I need more. The last thing, another forgotten favorite, and that is my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Again, I have that on today. The Carbon Black is, the, in my opinion, the best one. They have the regular... Um, the carbon black is just more pigmented. It's just blacker. It's, it's better, in my opinion. I've tried the regular and the carbon black. The black is my favorite. That's all my favorites, guys. That's what I've been using. And that's what I've been trying to, you know, focus on and use up slowly but surely and use up some of my skincare, use up some of the samples I've received and let me know down below what you have been loving and what's been some favorite skincare items what's been some favorite makeup items that might be something i want to try or it might be something i've forgotten about and it might remind me hey i need to get that out and use it but yeah let me know let me know down below what you have been loving and what you've not been loving there was only one thing i didn't love and it is actually in the bathroom in my um trash basket and that was a sample of the clinique it's an eye serum. It's the little pink colored one. I did not like that one. It was very sticky. I don't know if it was just bad or if it's old, but it's or I was using too much. But it's very sticky. Very. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure you hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one.